So Jason, what do you think about your visit, your first visit to Saudi Arabia? Oh, it was really enlightening to, to have to, to see the, the growth of Saudi, yeah. the city and the country. I mean, it's quite amazing. And, and to think the population 8 million now, and, yeah. and their forecast, they will reach 15 million by 2030, and they're on track to achieving that, is amazing. Imagine the number of housing opportunities, resorts, hospitality, everything going. Yeah, yeah. Well, with that, with that growth of population, they need housing. Saudi's on this wave of massive construction, massive housing uplifting. The people that we've met, the influential leaders of prefabricated housing, modular housing companies, from the big five event that we attended, the Zippy WeatherTech, has been. Uh, very, very impressive for us. Lots of opportunities, Major. And what do you feel about the people, the one-on-one -on -one meetings that we had with some of the biggest construction houses of the country? It was really impressive that they gave us the time to listen to us. And the other thing that's more impressive, they love WeatherTex. Yeah. They love WeatherTex. They can see the opportunity of WeatherTex and particularly the sustainability nature yeah. of our product. It's, um, it lends itself to where they want to take this um, Saudi into the future. And with the sustainable cities, not just sustainable project, but the sustainable cities coming our way, yes. I think that only doubles up our opportunities further to grow the market. Absolutely. I think there's great market and uh, super. I think let's look forward to the final day of the show. Sure. Yeah. One other thing, you know what? Us having that presence in Neon uh -huh. and supplying the 15 uh, construction camps or construction houses. 1,500 houses. 1,500 houses. About. They're, that's put as a presence. And people, yeah, everyone's people talking about it. Say, yeah. build the product on the, on the houses in Neon. Absolutely. It's, it's really helped us gather some momentum. Yeah, I agree yeah. with that. Yeah. I agree with that. Well, like, yeah, let's do the final day of the show and, uh, and let's keep rolling. Yeah, let's go. Now, here we are, the big five, Saudi, final afternoon, rolling in three or four hours to go. Been a very successful event. Dieting, successful, yeah. yeah. I mean, a lot of people. 2 p.m. till 10 p.m. at night. I've never seen that. Plenty of gym, never drank this much mineral water in my life. <laughs> I agree, yeah. But what, what has come out of this lots of things, we've, we've managed to get a hold of and meet the, the, probably the top five largest prefabricated modular contractor builders in Saudi. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, the message they gave us about weather techs. And uh, the one particular message that left leaves with me is, you know, he said, Jason Mandrin, weather techs should have a golden ticket in terms of sustainability, or sustainability and now sustainable financial Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I remember that part. And uh, it just doesn't give from that we are on the right path for a real, uh, you know, with this whole modular boom, it's only going to be bigger and bigger on the, because of the Vision 2030. So at least for the next one decade, we for sure have great opportunities. Uh, everything is offside. I mean, if you look at Saudi Arabia, look at look at how it um, is expanding horizontally in every single direction. Yeah, of course, huge load on the government for the infrastructure point, but um, I feel a uh, great opportunity for the modular market. And that's what we're trying to tap here. I agree with you. And, and the international migration challenge, right? Their, their vision is from 8 million to 15 million population by 2030. Correct. Yeah. Um, and you can see they're putting Riyadh on the map, aren't they? Uh, yeah. And uh, with the amount of, amount of sporting events, their housing, and the amount of money they're throwing at. Winter and games in Saudi Arabia, who had them from Winter games, Olympic games <laughs> in Saudi Arabia, who had them from that? Uh, Expo 20. Uh, 2030, the vision 2030, yeah, absolutely. And um, we're on a good path, now we just got to execute and make the most of it. Put weather text on the map and sound, the same sort of loop in one hole, one tiny hole at a time. Thanks for putting this event together, appreciate it.